Hey everyone, welcome to Next Commentary. Playing a really insult mid lane. Uh, I did take cleanse instead of ignite because I thought I was against Aerith, but I'm actually against Echo. So unfortunate. But I wasn't making tons of champions life completely, so unfortunately <laughs> I don't have ignite. I probably would go ignite because Echo doesn't really have a stun that you need to dodge. You should never get hit by Echo W. If you get hit by Echo W, like you should have already been crowd controlled. It's pretty hard to actually get hit by it. Um but Echo's a pretty hard matchup for Rolling Soul because he can just um, basically jump on top of you. But because it's new Aurelian Soul, uh, where you can double type your Q to stun, it's a little bit easier, but still. It, it's very hard to keep Echo off of you. I don't think there's anyone special in my game. There's a one streamer. Um, overall, I'll be auto attacking him early, might not even push early because I don't want him to be able to have a longer lane to chase me down in because it's kind of annoying. So. Oh, but. Okay, well, if he is going to just let me freely auto him like that, then I'm obviously going to get a really good trade on him. He's only level 1, so he has no dash here. So I'm just going to try to abuse that as much as I can. Okay. I'm going to miss like like a lot of CS, but so did he, so I don't really care. I got a super good trade on him. I need to remember that I don't have Ignite. So. Make him use Q here instead of being able to auto-attack. I'm only really going to try to poke this guy when he actually goes for the CS. Otherwise, it's not really worth it. So when he goes for the CS, I'll auto him. And if he jumps on me, then I'll just Q him. There's no reason to use Q when he goes for anything. Just because, uh... Oh, is this a 45? Yeah, Soraka DC'd. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay, cool. I got it. Because you use auto attacks to CS, you can if you use your stars to CS while you're auto attacking, it makes it so much easier. You can see that I'm actually weaving my orbs to get the last hits on minions, and then I auto him between that. If I do get ganked, I do have phase rush, so I think I'll be okay. He might try to TP. That's why he was backing up here. I was paying attention to that. Okay, so it's a 4v5 game. Darn, I was trying to get mana flow there. I still have phase rush in case I get ganked. Just gonna pop a potion just to be a little bit healthy here. I'm not sure where Kindred would gank from, but I do have Lee Sin kind of nearby. Okay, cool. She's actually coming back, finally. My wave is not the best. But if he has his Q down, he can't slow me. So that's one thing. I'm pretty sure she's topside, though. That's why I'm hovering bot so much, because she had a... Um, one of her uh, marks topside, so that's what she probably went for. And Lee Sin got botside Skittle, so... Normally the jungler is almost always on just the opposite side of wherever your jungler is, during the early game at least. So if you just pay attention to where your jungler is and just go to the opposite side, it's a pretty good strategy to be honest. Okay, I have no phase rush now, so if I get ganked, not going to be good, but I, I think I'm okay here. I'm just going to shove this in and reset, to be honest. Because he's going to have TP eventually, and I, I just need to reset. I'm probably not going to be able to kill this guy without ignite. I don't know what I'm going to go yet, whether I go Rod of Ages, because I did go Mana Flow this game, and when you go Mana Flow ban, you can rush uh, Rylai's if you really want to. You still have mana issues, you don't have to use your mana correctly, but... If I had enough for Merc Treads there, I probably would have rushed that instead. 
I don't like going Dark Seal that much anymore because it got nerfed kind of. So it doesn't have the best sale value anymore. The sale value I think was super big. Like of course it helps with the potions, but that's just my preference. It's basically preference in my opinion at this point. Attack Tender was nearby. That was a pretty even trade, so. Oh, maybe they don't know that I'm coming bot here with Lee Sin. We should be able to actually kill both of these guys. They're, they're out of position. Oh, he just ulti back immediately. <laughs> I was like wondering where he went. The reason why I just left there was because I already pushed in a wave. So as you can see, I'm not going to miss that much. If you if you clear away very quickly, which you do on Raelian Soul a lot, you want to clear as fast as possible. You don't. It, it's not about clearing fast. It's about clearing fast on a fresh wave. So like this next wave that comes in, it's not as fresh because it walked towards me here. But I still can roam if I push it very quickly, and I have a short window where I can go somewhere. Because now he has to catch the wave, and then when he catches the wave, I can go. So I'm, I'm just going to run top here. I think we can kill this guy. He's really overextended. And Kennen's level 6. Oh. Okay. I was going to save my ulti in case he tried to like flash on Kennen. I would have just killed him there. Or uh, ultied him away from the Kennen so he doesn't like one-shot him. And I, I'm pretty sure I didn't even miss any creeps. Like, in experience, at least. I'm gonna miss this creep, obviously, but yeah. Oh, wait, I missed one caster. Oh, there's just a caster missing from this wave. But that's what you want to do on a railing to a lot versus matchups that... I mean, most matchups you can roam pretty easily as long as they can't poke you. And in this case, this guy's not very aggressive. Not only that, but I out-trade him if he goes on me. Because if he goes on me and I'm able to stun him, then I can chase him down with Phase Rush and probably get a better trade because Aurelian Soul does consistent damage, not burst damage. And Echo is burst, so as long as I can stay on top of him, then I can do more. Okay. I might just... I'm paying attention to other lanes just to see what's going on. This this helps out so much, so I'm definitely going to go the um, Paralyze build because Water Dragon means that you you basically don't go Oom. It's like a mini blue buff, so I don't need to go Rod of Ages this game. I'm going to put a ward over the wall before clearing this because I don't want Echo to put down W and then I get ganked by Kindred or something. I would probably survive and everything, but I don't want to waste my summoners. They're really healthy bot. Where's Kindred? I still don't have mana flow completely stacked, so I can just use Q to stack mana flow, to be honest. Did he just leave? Is the Renekton is still not top. I'm just gonna run bot here because it looks like the fight is breaking out, and if Kindred shows up, then I can be there. Just in case. Take it. No, no. Oh my god, he's gonna survive. And I'm probably dead. Yeah. Wow, that was so bad. Alright. Maybe that wasn't enough damage. I was like, dang, dude. At least I landed the Q. I figured he would do a lot. Like, look at his items. Or did he not have that yet? I thought even through heal, she would die. All right, that was pretty unfortunate. We're still fine though. It was just a tiny throw. You can't always have the perfect games, no matter what elo you are. 
Kennen just destroying top. Looks like he's 2v1ing at this point. He has a full gun blade. Holy crap. They might actually be dead here. Oh my god, so close. Wait, she's going for her mark. Hello? Wait, we can just kill her, no? An ally has been slain. I'm just waiting for Lee Sin to show up before really fighting. Oh nice. So I'm just gonna stick around to help him take this, just in case Kindred shows up again. I'm pretty sure Echo had a small window where he could have ultied there, but he didn't. Kind of weird. If he was just mashing R, I'm pretty sure he would have been fine. Job top. That guy's really low, actually. Uh, I don't think that I can roam up though, just because walking through their jungle could be bad news. I'll get another plate here, and then I can just buy the Rylies, and I'm set. Actually, I'll stay because there's a new wave. If I backed here, then I would miss a wave, and I don't want to miss a wave. This guy is stronger than me right now because I haven't purchased yet, so there is an opportunity for him to actually go on me there, maybe in trade, pretty evenly. Okay, so I have Rylize, so I can chase down people pretty easily now. And then we can just play for Dragon. Or Rift Herald, because Cannon can even solo Rift Herald at this point. Okay, get his Protobelt. Oh, I shouldn't have used my Corrupting Potion because I have blue buff. I already have my ward down, so I don't want to change where it is. Because I roamed, I gave him first push here. He's actually overleveled. Like, I'll, I'll be even level here, but he's even leveled with me because of those two kills. He's not that weak. This can be bad, because I still need to catch this wave. So, Cannon roams down. Uh, the Renekton doesn't have TP here. So that means that we could probably just take this because Kennen can rotate. Oh, she pulled it out. I think we just take it here. I'm not sure if there's a board. Oh, we see her. Okay, we got it. That guy might be gone. In fact, everyone's gone. Alright, I'm just gonna give bot tower. The reason why that went so bad was because, uh... We're just taking a free objective and our bot lane is fighting. So, like... They have numbers advantage because Renekton did run down. And then they're fighting on one side. And all they had to do was just wait and just not fight. And we'd get a, a dragon for free. Because there's no way me and Lee Sin can uh, arrive there very quickly. I'd have to run straight through Kindred. And she is not weak, to be honest. Maybe we can do something top here. Maybe. Okay, nice. Oh, 
I'll just go back mid to defend this. Hopefully Kindred's not nearby. I don't want to get... Like, she jumps over this wall or something. That would be kind of annoying. Uh, I'll start rotating just in case, like, there's an Echo just, like, trying to cut my team off. Like, they just walk straight into Echo there, like an Echo W. This rocket did. That could have been pretty bad. So we're just taking Rift Herald right now, so we don't really need to do anything. I can couch bot if they want to stay mid, but... Holy crap, she's just inting. Okay, we see Kindred bot side again. I can just run straight over, and we could probably cut her off. Renekton might be here too. Shut down. Your team has destroyed a turret. Huh, she actually got away? Interesting. So she went in here? I guess. I don't know where she could have possibly went. Uh, they don't really need me, so I'm just gonna head back mid here. Your team has destroyed a turret. There might be a fight, but they should just let it crash and back off. Yeah, just like that. So it just damages the tower a little bit, and then they can uh, get ready for the next play somewhere. There's no way they can siege that tower. It's too difficult with their whole entire team, and then Cannon hasn't gotten any pressure on the map yet. You have to wait for your other teammates to pressure the map before you can pressure yourself, otherwise you're setting yourself up for a, a throw. I'm pretty sure that's, I bet that's like silver and gold. A lot of people do that all the time, where they like just don't wait for the team to pressure. Like the Cannon will go top lane, and then they'll be four bot, and then a fight breaks out and you lose, and then everybody blames the Cannon, it's like, why are you not grouped? It's like, I was just dead bro. And they don't even realize that the whole entire thing is just like back off. Just don't, don't all in. Don't, don't siege the tower. You can't. Holy shit, this echo is so strong. Uh, is there a Triss coming? I have heal, nice. What the fuck? Can I has TP? Okay. I guess we can try. He has no home guard because it's not 20 minutes yet. I could have pop probably popped cleanse there as soon as Zerit's done me and that would have been a little bit of a easier fight to be honest. I think I kind of trolled there. Alright. I kinda had a feeling something like that was gonna happen. Like, how are we supposed to catch up to the cannon? We're so far away. Taraka doesn't even have tier 2 boots yet. Oh, nice. Good silence. Make it so she can't even ulti. Also, the, uh, if you are ever wondering why people go Lyandries on Aurelian Soul, it's because his ratios aren't the best. They're okay, but it gives you just 10% more damage. So that means your base damage is, plus your ratios get stronger, obviously, because it, and you're a consistent damage dealer, so you will get the 10% maximum eventually. And then Rylai's goes with Lion Trees because it makes it so people burn. So both of the passives are just so nice on him, because if you have really good ratios, Maybe you wouldn't even go Lyndries, but his ratios are not the best. And because he doesn't have good ratios, then going something that has pretty good passives, okay HP, and pretty good AP, might as well just use that rather than going just straight damage. I might go Morello's next, actually. Or Zhonya's. It's either defensive or penetration at this point. 
And it doesn't look like they're going to have a tanky person, like super, super tanky, so I don't need a Void Staff this game. I can maybe just go Morellos instead with, like, a Sonyas. And then maybe just a Death Cap just to get the most amount of AP that I possibly can, because there's no other item to really buy. Ooh. That's a support, by the way. What the fuck? We really need to group and get vision control down. We literally have no vision around Baron. We're like... We need better vision control on one side. It doesn't matter what side really, but Baron's side is obviously way better because that's the actual objective. Just to see if they flank us. Because if we get flanked, it could be really bad. Like if Kindred comes behind and somehow she's strong enough to kill someone. I guess she's not strong enough though, but... Nonetheless, getting vision control before doing any objective is much better. Like, we would just walk in here and just get a bunch of vision down, but we're not doing that at all. Does Echo have ult? Oh, he doesn't. Not Echo. Ezreal. I wasn't looking to see if he had ulti or not, I just used it preemptively. I didn't even get to hit anybody there. Oh, well, they have five. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary, maybe learned something about like how to use a Aurelian Soul early. Obviously I was able to help out my lanes, but everybody else did pretty good too, and I will see you guys next time.